Hello everybody, this is Kaizen here, and welcome back to another episode here on our Let's Play world. Uh, now last time I got the potion room just about up and running in terms of the redstone, uh, so this time I want to add decorations to it and see if we can get it finished off so it's completely fully functional. Um, so here it is in front of me, and you'll notice that I've added some things straight away, being the flooring. So I've gone for a dark coloured floor, this is black concrete here with grey concrete in the middle and in the aisleways there, so the black kind of just rims around that. Um, the reason for that is I was testing around some things in my creative world and I decided I wanted to make this build quite colourful. So using lots of concrete, um, and I've got some red concrete on me, I'll come on to that in a second. Um, but yeah, just kind of colour coding all the different potions, making it a very colourful room. And so if you're going to have a colourful room, you really need to think about the floor and the ceiling. So I figured we'll go for a dark floor, like this black. Uh, sort of colors and a lighter ceiling using lots of quartz and that sort of thing so don't have it fully figured out yet but if i just start throwing some blocks down i'll show you kind of where i got to on this uh, and what i was thinking um, so we have to bear in mind that above this there's going to be a hopper and a chest and that becomes important in just a second which i will show you um, wait a second i want to place that on there like that and that one like that just trying to remember how I did this now, because I had, kind of had this down in my in my Let's Play, uh, not my Let's Play, sorry, in my Creative World. Um, and then, let's see, oh, this is a lot easier to build in Creative Mode. <laughs> um, so, I mean, it's like anything, I'll get into a system of it in a second, but, yeah, so that, oh, I just fell off. Let's just build up. Um, so that's going to go there, and then kind of like this for a second. All right, so we'll have access to our balloon stand there. And if we want to access the chest, it will be up there. And you know what? Uh, let's just actually get a couple of chests here. These aren't really being used for a second. Um, did I get both of them? Yep. Um, and let's put those um, up on top here, because this will make it a bit easier for me to kind of... Oh, I'm so bad. <laughs> um, easier for me to, to plan this out. Oh, wait, is that... Ah, oh, that's why I'm hitting the roof. I didn't realize. I thought I just missed time my jump. Um, right, okay. Oh, this is some expensive scaffolding, using quartz for scaffolding, right? Um, so this chest is going to go like that, and then there'll be a hopper under there connecting that up. Um, so let's take down this scaffolding, like this. <laughs> um, okay, so then, yeah, if we want to access the chest, we can access that. If we want to access the brewing stand, we can access that. Behind these brewing stands, I, I'm going to put some sort of light source. So it'll be lit up like that. It's not going to look amazing, but because of all the redstone stuff that's going on back here, it's a little bit difficult to get the design looking, you know, too perfect. Um, okay, so then, I think, hmm. So I may do this differently to how I had it in my uh, creative world. I might build up like this, and then build this one up like this. Um, I believe one more, and then put in some chiseled. Is this how we did it? Yeah, I think so. And then... A roof going along there but maybe the roof needs to be one lower actually like that right yeah that would make more sense so let's do that um, but here I just put in a normal block of quartz above each of the, the potion stands like this um, the only thing is now like this corner looks quite nice with the rim but we lose that with the quartz um, so maybe that will work but maybe not let's let's take this down a second so we can just at least get this bit right um, yep, we need that one there, that one there, and then that one there. Okay. Um, so this is red, so this might be like our potions of maybe strength or fire resistance or something that you associate red to. Um, you know, that's how that would work. Um, and then the white, I found, just breaks it up and it's also functional with the stairs being um, in that position so that we can access the chest. And I think it looks pretty okay. Um, yeah. I mean, this kind of hides the hopper then that the chest is, is under, so that's cool. But actually, oh, I think that's what I did. Yeah, okay. Let me just come up back up here really quickly. Um, just kind of come over here. Hopefully I can grab this. Yes, okay. Um, and this, and then what I want to do is place the chest in there. So I think this is how we did it. I thought something was looking a bit off. Yeah, there we go. So that blocks it up a lot better, and then you can access the chest. Ah. So it must have been slabs above it. <laughs> it's so hard to remember because I, I made this in my single player and I was like, yeah, that's cool. Let's go and do that. Uh, but this is essentially the idea with the different colors. So hopefully you guys like that idea. Um, color coordinating the potions and making this quite a bright and colorful room. 
Um, if you don't, then I guess we will have to change it. <laughs> um, but yeah, so what I wanna do, I'm gonna need to go and get myself loads of different colored concrete and start building this out a bit. And once I've built like a few of these, then we can come back and have a look at how it's taking shape and I'll try to firm up a bit more of a, a better design. Okay guys, well, I kind of went a bit overboard in terms of the things I did off camera. Um, I got a lot of work done on this to the point where the potion room is now nearing completion. And I thought I'd better give you an update because uh, otherwise it might become too much to explain all in one clip. And also I do try to like to uh, keep you guys updated along the way. Um, so you may notice there's some yellow uh, wiring going in here now, or rather some wiring that's on uh, this yellow concrete. Uh, so the yellow circuit uh, runs uh, the whole way down here and it covers both sides. Uh, basically this is to power the uh, droppers. Uh, so that shoots the bottles along uh, the process so that they go off onto the next stage. Um, and I think I already explained that in uh, my previous video on this. So we've got one hopper clock up here uh, that controls this. Uh, rather than the two that we have for the other stages of the uh, redstone requirements of this auto brewing process. So that's pretty good. It's, it's more economical to have just the one, of course, and um, it means all the droppers will be shooting at the same time. So that's cool. Um, in terms of this bit, I've just kind of put a bit of a front area here. Uh, I think this is going to need to change. I think we're going to need like a lobby area here, maybe where we fill up the water bottles and things. And then I want to send off a mine cart. Uh, now the water bottles will all, well, the water bottles, I'm going to turn into awkward potions first, I should say, really. So the awkward potions will all need to go off into the end chest. So this one here, uh, this one here, this one here, because basically, oops, just fell down there. Um, that's where they get input, and then that's the first stage of the brewing process, right? So that always starts at the end here, and then makes its way down to here, and this is the output chest. Uh, so all the output chests are in the middle. So what I'm thinking is we could have a minecart system um, using the, the dropper minecarts to go and deliver uh, the awkward potions off in these two different directions. So I'll need to figure out a design for that. Uh, it shouldn't be too difficult to do though. And then as I say, eventually everything gets output into here. Um, one thing I did think was I could take this out like this and put some chests right here on these two blocks and some hoppers here feeding into them. And that would then double the storage that I currently have. Just got the one double chest per type of potion at the moment. Um, so that, that's a potential uh, expansion for the future. We'll see how we go in terms of how many we make though. Um, very obviously, some things you'll notice, I've got the redstone lamps going all the way through here now. Just a, a fancier, smarter, cleaner way of lighting all of this up. Uh, I've got some uniform potted plants going around. Uh, I did consider using a different color for them, but I think we've got a lot of color in here already with the concrete and also uh, this stuff here, this uh, glazed terracotta, uh, which is very fancy and colorful in itself. So I think for now we've got enough different colors and I'll keep that as it is. It's the same reason I went for this brown ceiling as well because uh, your attention isn't supposed to be drawn towards the ceiling, uh, at least not in this particular build. Uh, the attention should be more at eye level uh, with these different colors and the brewing stands. Um, so the basic setup, you go into uh, one of these corridors and we can access all of the brewing stands so we can put in our power when we need to. And above there is the chest and that's where the ingredients go. Um, and that's a double chest. That's more than I'll ever need because in things, uh, in here will be things like golden carrots, for example, um, or glistering melons or spider eyes, whatever. And with most of the ingredients that you use in that uh, scenario, you're not gonna ever need a double chest worth. Like you, it'd be hard to even get to that amount anyway in the first place. Um, so that was a double chest more because it had to be. Um, I think I did explain this, but I'll just run back around here real quick and explain that. Uh, so basically this is the double chest here, right? Uh, so if I run and jump up here, if I got rid of that one, um, basically, well, we can actually do it a second. Um, if I get rid of that and I run back around here, you'll see it's a much more difficult to access that chest and I just wanted to make things easy. Um, so that was up there and it just doesn't really look right. You know, it, it's, it's actually not that difficult to access, um, but it's just, I think it looks better with the chest being there because here you can kind of see more of what's going on around it. So that's what we did and that's how that goes. Um, and then just some stairs to um, kind of obviously allow access to that, but also give a bit of design to this building as well. Uh, so I think that's most of the design stuff uh, going on here. Um, just to say, I've opted for 12 different types of potions. I figure that's all the ones I want to brew, at least for now. Um, in the future, I could expand this by coming off in this direction quite easily. All the wiring and stuff is on the sides and on the back which allows me to then keep this coming forward this way in the future if I want to. Um, but we'll really see how we go uh, with that. 
So you can see here I've got uh, the name here, healing, and that's for this one. Now at the moment I've just done that with signs, and there may be a better way of doing that. Um, potentially I could use item frames or something like that. I think that may look better. Um, but just to go through the ones we've got, we've got healing there, invisibility there. Uh, the reason for these colors, by the way, I chose colors that look nice for the build, um, or that I considered to look nice. And then with the potions, I wrote down the 12 that I wanted uh, in my book right here. So these are the 12 that we have, these 10 here, plus these two right here. And then I just uh, assigned them to colors that I thought uh, fitted them for whatever reason. So I don't know why invisibility seemed to go well with that color, but yeah. <laughs> um, so there we go. And then we have swiftness there, night vision. We're going to have strength, regeneration, uh, fire resistance, water breathing, uh, poison, leaping, and then finally weakness and slowness. So yeah, that's pretty much ready to go. Um, the, the electrical wiring should all be done, the redstone wiring, I should say. Um, and it's, as I say, just a case of being able to deliver the awkward potions. I think what I need to do now is, is uh, get some sort of system set up for that. Um, but that may be something I do a little bit more in the future. Uh, the reason for that is for a lot of these potions, uh, the ingredients that I need, I either don't have many of or don't have any of them. Uh, like, for example, the, the water breathing one just up here. Um, we need puffer fish to make that potion, right? Uh, well, I don't have any puffer fish at the moment. I might have like two or three, you know. Um, similarly, like gas tears um, are needed for the regeneration potions uh, wherever they've gone. But yeah, I, I'll need to go and get a load of these ingredients. So I'm going to need to start farms for different things. Um, but that's that's kind of how it's looking right now. So I guess uh, the next thing to do, I want to clean up this work area here that I've built uh, to do this in the first place. Maybe kind of run this corridor going around here. Um, and then somehow join it up to this room so that we can get access to it and then give it a bit of a test with some ingredients that we do have to make sure it's working um, and then this will be an ongoing project with future farms and things to deliver the materials required that we can keep building up more and more potions and get this running maybe not constantly but just whenever we need it we can get a batch going so yeah i'm going to go and uh, kind of finish off this room for today and um, i'll come back and give you guys a bit of an update once that's done um, if you'd like a bit more of an in-depth tutorial as to the redstone on this, let me know. If enough people ask for that, then I may do one, um, but we'll see how that goes. So yeah, I'm going to go and uh, carry on with uh, finishing this room off, and I'll be back in just a second. Okay guys, so at the end of this corridor, I've kind of made some changes, and I'm going to go through those with you now, so that next time I'm in here, you're not like, hey, what's, uh, what's happened here? And uh, basically just kind of uh, tied that in with uh, finishing up the potion room for today. And uh, the point of doing all this, uh, I wanted to get all this done before I did my next episode where I'll be on this world. And that episode is going to be a world tour and world download episode. Uh, now I did say I would do that as part of my 1000 subscribers specials. Uh, I did a playlist of special episodes and that will be one of them. Um, so I haven't forgotten about that, it's just taking me some time to, uh, to get things sorted. But anyway, here is the end of the corridor. Um, so what I've done now is I've opened this up a lot more than it was before and just made it a very simple shape. This is just now like a flat wall that runs down here next to the uh, mineshaft area. Now this bit in here is still a bit untidy and we'll need something doing with it, but uh, I'm just kind of waiting for the right project or, uh, or um, I don't know, the right motivation I suppose to do something with this area because I'm still unsure as to what it will be. Um, but I can tell you that this area is, well for now at least it's finished anyway, it's, uh, it's tidied up and it works, it looks okay, uh, it looks nice and nice and tidy, nothing special. Uh, but it works, and I put in a little uh, potion room maintenance door here, so we can go back here to access the redstone for the potion room when we need to do that. So I thought that would be quite useful to have um, for a, a redstone build of that size. And uh, also that's with you guys in mind, so if anyone downloads this world and wants to get a head start on me and uh, go on to the potion room, then you can do that uh, without having to wait for me to do it. Because uh, I probably won't do another download for quite a while after this, I'll probably spread them out. But anyway, uh, so this corridor then goes off down here. I've put a little window in here just to show that the uh, the mine shaft goes off that way. For those of you that don't know, this whole area underground, I found an abandoned mine shaft when I first started in this world, and uh, I just kind of converted it as I went along. And these are the original tunnels from that mine shaft. All I did was took an axe and got rid of all of the wooden structures, all the cobweb and chests, and all that stuff, uh, and left the tunnels behind. So. We got these pretty cool tunnels and I generally use them as my corridors um, because one, I think it's cool to build to the natural structures around here and two, it saves me a whole lot of digging so it's kind of a win-win. Um, so that's just so I don't forget that that's there. Uh, when we go down here, you'll see that we've got the potion room there um, which you've obviously already seen. If I go through here, 
Um, it's the back of the potion room and also a big area here where I'll probably continue the corridor down in the future or maybe build some other things in here. Um, but I won't forget that that's there. So that's why I didn't bother putting a door there and just kind of block that off. I think it looks better. Um, and then, yeah, just kept the steam going around, uh, made the ceiling a bit higher so that we could accommodate this sort of grand entrance for the potion room. Um, we've got a little chest there of stuff ready for uh, when the potion room is ready to be stocked. And on that note, what I'm thinking, guys, is basically I need to do a whole load of different farms on this uh, server that I haven't done yet. Because eventually I want to farm for like everything that you can farm. Um, so, you know, things I haven't done that I'd like to include uh, squid farms. Um, a proper nether warp farm, because the one I've got in the uh, nether at the moment isn't all that good. It's a little bit pants, to be honest. Um, and what else? What else? There's so many. I just can't think of them all. Uh, gold farm is a thing that I definitely would like to have one day. Uh, obviously, I've done my iron farm now, so gold is kind of the next stage. Because um, I did the uh, the iron titan, for those who, who didn't see that. Oh, there's a slime around here, and it's annoying me. There he is. I'm going to go kill him while I talk to you about this. Um, honestly, these things annoy me to death. I have so many slime balls. I think one day I'll make a nice slime world somewhere, you know, like a slime base and it'll be all, everything will be built out of slime blocks. But um, yeah, anyway, so yeah, I'm going to do a whole lot of farms and um, particularly for the potion room, I'll need to do a lot of farms for certain things before I can have that up and running where it's fully automatic because for all the ingredients that I need to put in here, um, you're looking at quite a lot of materials for certain things. So if you look at, um, you know, I need like golden carrots and glittering melons and things like that that need the golden nuggets to make. Well, we're going to need a whole lot of that to keep all these chests filled up. Um, there's a lot going on up here. And yeah, basically, until I can farm that and get a, a reliable, um, reproducible source of those things, uh, it's going to be difficult to get the potion room up and running in the way that I want it to be. Uh, but that's not a problem. Uh, I want to build all these farms anyway. So I'm just telling you that so you guys understand what's going on um, and what my plan is for this server. Um, oh, it's not really a server, is it? Well, it's not a server. <laughs> it's a um, single player world, that's what I mean to say. Uh, but yeah, that's sort of, that's the plan. Um, and yeah, I guess uh, I'll talk more about this probably in the world download episode as well, but uh, at least then you'll know kind of what my upcoming episodes will be about. There'll be a lot of different farms and things. Uh, but anyway, guys, I've kind of digressed a bit there. Just wanted to kind of keep you up to date with what's happening. Um, but that'll be about it for today's episode. So as always, thanks very much for watching and I will see you next time.